This is Kaya and Daisha of Chic Rebellion TV, and today we are here at Cocktails and Conversations for New York African Restaurant Week. Let's go inside and talk to some important people about amazing things they're doing in the African community. Tonight's event, we're doing in collaboration with An African City and Africa Health Now. So we're looking for more of those partnerships where we come together and we showcase our food and culture with people in our community. It's our attempt to get people interested in nonprofit work. So cocktails and conversations, you get people together, they come out, they get fly, and then they get to talking, and then you start to probe them into having the conversation about social responsibility. How can you give back? What are your concerns? And finding ways to kind of network and get like minds together. This started last year, 2013. This is our second, this is our second time doing it. And we are we're really excited about the partnerships we've done from our community. And we really want to encourage more of those partnerships. Nana Eisenhower of African Health Now, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming out tonight for our cocktails and conversation with the lovely ladies of an African city and as part of New York African Restaurant Week. So I hear the cast and the producers of the new hit series, An African City, are right upstairs. Let's go see if we can catch a word with them. So what is the premise behind An African City? Well, I wanted another story of the African woman. I think for many, many years, mainstream media has just showed us one side of the African woman. What's another side? What's another story to the African woman? And that's the premise behind An African City, another side of the African woman. For me, it's the story of the returnee. And I'm also a returnee. I returned back to Ghana at one point, and I thought I was going to live there. I thought I was going to work meet someone, kind of make this my new home. So that was my goal. And then it came to a point where I had to come back to New York because reality hit me and I missed my friends and I wanted to be back. Every once in a while, those of us who have left our homeland, we return. You know, in episode one, the immigration officer says, oh, but you don't look or sound like a Ghanaian. And that's something I know I get every day and a few of my other returning friends get every day. Um, so really on that journey of self-identity when you've been home, when you've been away from home for so long. My character is the latest returnee in Ghana. Uh, she left New York to come and pursue her career, continue her career. And uh, I'm always looking more about, for more about my culture. I didn't grow up in Ghana, but I am a Ghanaian. I'm a proud Ghanaian. And uh, I'm always seeking to learn more about my country, which is what Nana is doing. We yeah. return to past I hurts. Never used to. Absolutely welcome the comparison to Sex and the City. I think that Sex and the City actually is still my favorite show. I appreciate the fact that people are comparing us to such a great show. I think it was absolutely our inspiration. Nicole definitely watched episodes of Sex and the City and said, you know what? What does this look like in Africa? What is the African version of this show? And I think we were able to be successful in telling that story. This is the story of five African women who have left the West to find the life and the love they have been searching for back home. This is a story of an African city.